I'm going to demonstrate the Arthrex Capsule Closed Scorpion for arthroscopic capsular management and repair at the end of an arthroscopic hip procedure. The Capsule Closed Scorpion is a reusable handle with a disposable stainless steel needle component. The needle is disposed after each case to ensure its sharpness during the procedure. To load the needle through the handle, you'll simply feed it through the inner cannulation and lock it on the back barb of the device. There's a compressive feature that allows you to compress your capsular tissue before you take your bite of tissue. Once you're happy with your amount of, of bite you've achieved, you'll simply squeeze the back of your handle to push the needle through the distal jaw to capture your suture. To load a suture through the capsule closed scorpion, you'll take your number two fiber wire and load it in the distal jaw notch. To do that, you'll make a loop with the suture and slide it until you feel it click in and engage in that distal jaw. You can slide the suture to control how much you want to have through the lower portion of the device during your passing. Once you load your suture, you're ready to pass. The device will fit through an 8.25 millimeter cannula and can be used for either an interportal capsulotomy or a T capsulotomy. It's recommended to compress your jaws and squeeze your front trigger before you enter the dam of your cannula to avoid any damage to the cannula and the suture. You'll slide that through your portal. You'll hook this lower jaw underneath one limb of your tissue. The device, when fully engaged, will give you a 4.5 millimeter bite from the edge of the tissue that you've cut. You'll simply compress with that front trigger. You'll squeeze to push the needle through the tissue. You'll hear a click to know you're fully engaged. You'll then release your handle, come out, and now you've got your first strand of suture passed through your capsular tissue. To release the suture from the needle, you'll simply apply some downward pressure to the suture and squeeze the back of the handle without squeezing the front trigger. Pull the suture down and it'll be released from the needle inside the device. Next, outside your portal, you'll load your other side of suture in the same manner we did earlier. You'll simply loop your suture, load it in the lower jaw. Again, you'll feel it click and engage in that jaw to know it's fully seated. You can slide to control how much suture you want to have through that lower jaw. You'll then slide that back down your portal and grab the other side of capsule that you want to close to bring together. Again, you'll get a 4.5 millimeter bite. You'll compress with that front trigger. You'll squeeze the back of your hand to push the needle through and underneath the tissue. That will then capture the suture. You'll then pull that outside of your cannula. And now you've got your inverted mattress stitch passed that you'll then tie off for your capsular closure. You can continue to pass sutures for subsequent closure until you're happy with the amount of closure you've achieved.